Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to Love Lies and Lace Friends, where we talk reactions, reviews on the YouTube channels you love to watch. Guys, Keisha Kaylee, girl, Keisha, what's going on? It's the holidays. I thought you were taking a much needed break. So we saw all of the Vlogmas. Um, leading up to Christmas, Jeremy was there in his Christmas pajamas helping with the girls and um, getting them all situated with their toys and things like that. There with Keisha filming. Um, I cannot say I saw him at the birthday party. Maybe I need to look again and I could have missed something. Um, I was watching the birthday party and was looking away and working on some other things. So it's quite possible I missed that but they did have a really cute birthday party. Um, but let me get with Lily first, and then Keisha, we gonna get back to you and Jeremy. So Lily put out her part one and part two over the Christmas holiday. Um, I, I'm just gonna say straight up, first and foremost, I like Lily. I think she is a truth teller. She is someone who wants to get her story out. She's not here for anyone kind of speaking on her negatively and that's period she knows that she um brings something to the table she's she's had his son obviously there was something going on between the two of them he said it was a one night stand she's like uh, think again so we don't really know what the full relationship has been but we know that they were introduced by a mutual friend and if this person is a mutual friend, then they would know that Jeremy was involved with Keisha. But to what level does Ke does Jeremy communicate how serious his relationship is with other people for them to even think to introduce him to other women? Yeah, we don't know that. Um, I mean, we can all assume, um, but we don't really know what other people know about their relationship or, you know, is this all for like YouTube? And um, I mean, we know that part of it is not because they're obviously making babies unless that's part of the contract, too. Um, and maybe at the end of the day, Keisha just wants a baby. Who knows? But back to Lily. Um, apparently, Lily and Jeremy met through a friend. Um, it was a acquaintance. They kind of got together. Um, they came together on some kind of like um hang out and smoke type stuff with a friend and um i guess it progressed from there now what it progressed from and to we we only know what we see right now she says that she's going to tell more of the story what i like about lily is number one she is on youtube and she really is kind of a pro already she really knows how to speak to her audience she knows how to tell a story she knows how to really make it very captivating and interesting interesting and then she also knows how to leave just a little bit behind to say okay i'll be back and then when she comes back you're ready to for that next installment um it's it, i mean her videos have been really good now her friend came out her friend hazel hazel's very spunky i like hazel's attitude you know it's basically don't mess with my friend period and don't mess with me by the way um, and I have also other business and we're going to talk about that too, but I'm here for my channel and if everyone else is getting clout off of it, well, hell I am too. Um, Lily did speak to that. She said, yeah, you know, if my friend has time and that's what she wants to do, well then that's what she can do. I'm not really worried about it. I speak for myself and whatever she wants to speak on, that's her business. And even if she's talking on my business, like, you know, whatevs, I'm here for me and this is what I'm focused on now and anything else um as long as those people are down for me well then it's fine other than that like i don't really need anyone else speaking for me which i thought was really good and very honest i liked her um i like britney too i thought britney came with the real um especially after she realized that keisha was just kind of using whoever she can to get her message out and if you're not with the Keisha program then you're just not on the program anymore so we're gonna see how the relationship between Keisha and Brittany kind of you know flushes out over the next few weeks but Hazel and Lily um, seem to be know, a you know a duo BFF <laughs> set and they're cool and they have each other's back and um and that's pretty much it Brittany and keisha yeah that's that probably is some sort of a wrap 
um yeah, jeremy though you know again cool as a cucumber we're finding I, out he's really not doing a whole lot for his kid really um that there was more to the relationship than he wanted to let on really that there was a lot of damage control really being really done hard. when they saw that when we keisha i think saw that he wasn't really afraid of her or not really like calling her own shots and not just kind of like okay keisha whatever you say keisha or whatever keisha and I don't know. Maybe she just realized, well, I can't control this situation, so let's just go ahead and take her out. I don't know what she was thinking, if she thought she was going to make nice with uh, Lily or what, but Lily very much is the mom to the boy and in control of her situation and wants to be in control of her story. Since you want to tell my story, I'm going to tell my story, and I'm going to tell it my way. You don't get to tell my story, and I don't get to speak up for myself, and I'm not going to do it on your platform form especially with like honey, your rules so Lily definitely um she's you know she's smart and i see what she's doing uh, you know is this all a collaborated effort for everyone to grow and everyone to eat i don't know i mean this is youtube it's all entertainment um is this one of these situations based on a true story i 100 percent um do we know how much is being put on I, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know what's video, being put on, what's think. being manufactured, um, what is absolutely a hundred percent, one hundred. Um, we just thing. don't know, but we do know that there are real babies okay. here. So okay. something popped off. Something is happening. Um, as you can see, Lily is very beautiful. She is on Instagram. She's Instagram, you know, takes Instagram pictures. She also does bottle service. Um, she says she works very hard. She's a single mother. She's not getting any help. And um, at the end of the day, you know, she's here to make sure that her and her son are well taken care of. And her friend, as you know, Hazel has her back and, and she's coming out to out the gate to get things popping for, for herself and to, you know, be there for the interests of her friend as she navigates these YouTube streets with a no good, and I'm just saying this, allegedly deadbeat uh, father who is not doing anything for his son. Now, in the Q&A, people asked, did Jeremy see his son? She said, yes. Is he really doing anything? Um, basically, no. But she She's not going to speak on it in a whole lot of detail, but she's coming back with more and more and more. So she's going to give us all the information we want to know at a certain point, but she is in control of the narrative of the story. And I appreciate that. I think that that's smart. And um, why not? She's growing her channel. She's going to get herself monetized. And she's got a lot of people who have interest in her. She talked about other things. People asked her questions about everything from her nails to her wigs to what she does, how she does it. And I liked the fact she's very open and honest, which I thought was really, really good. Um, as far as anything else, I think that she really wants people to know that um you know this wasn't something that she kind of set out to do or um in terms of you know i really would have rather kind of stayed to the back but that wasn't what was meant to be and um you know the more that jeremy and keisha want to speak on the situation and blow it up well okay i guess i'm gonna blow it up too so that's basically what um, went on this weekend. Um, not so much of the back and forth, uh, but really just the I'm going to tell my truth and I want my story to be known and y'all don't get to control the narrative of what you're going to say about my name and my family and what we have going on. I'm going to speak for myself and yeah, I'm going to tell the complete story and not just like the little itty bitty um, version of what Jeremy's trying to do to not be in trouble with his baby's mother um, of three children and that he's got supposed to have more of a commitment with than, um, than as far as what we know with, with Lily. Lily has yet to tell us like the full depth of her relationship with Jeremy but apparently there was more there than a one night stand and 
to what degree we just have to stay tuned to find out because she is spoon feeding this story and if you want to know what the deal is yeah well you're just gonna have to have your notifications on be subscribed and she's gonna put out the deal when she is ready so again like i said i respect that it's her story she's making it good it's juicy it's just that right amount of messy um that a lot of people like on the youtube street so hey you know i'm here for it as well so tell me what you think down in the comments um has jeremy bitten off more than what he can chew is he in trouble does he have a lot of explaining to do keisha are you busted keisha did you basically bite off more than you can chew by sticking around letting this guy who you know is not good for your brand for your soul for your heart and probably for your brain stick around give you another child and put you in a situation which as a girlfriend you are operating as I don't even want to say stepmom because you guys are not married, but you are in a situation where you are dealing with like married people problems and um, you're not married to this guy. You're not married to this guy and you are wasting a lot of time and effort trying to build narratives around someone who is not on the same page with you, Keisha. So if I were you, and I'm sure your management has had a lot of conversations with you about this, if you are truly in love with this guy, then you guys need to get on the same page and figure out, are you going to be together or not? And if you just want someone that looks good in pictures that you can take family photos with and go on vacations and kind of do what you want and um, and get with the program and follow the script, then I am sure there are plenty of other guys in Atlanta that would be happy to play boyfriend with you and maybe even play husband who won't have you looking so stupid out here on these Atlanta and YouTube city streets. So guys, again, go ahead, comment down below. What What is really going on? What's your take on everything? Is this all stunts and shows um, on top of the obvious? I mean, clearly we've got families being created here but is is this stunts and shows gone wrong is this damage control gone wrong was was did keisha just get caught out here trying to be shady and got called out from everywhere what is it guys don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure that you have your post notifications on so that I, next time i post another video you will be notified first